completing Artists in Residence for Imagine, showing how I made this shaker card. First, I started out with some ink potion number nine in a, um, a water brush. And then I started using the Memento markers and just coloring in this turkey image that I printed off of the internet. The first colors I was using was um, cantaloupe and I went back over with some Potter's Gray just to add some darker highlighting with it. Using the ink potion number nine makes it so that the ink spreads better than it does with water. And this I'm using some rich cocoa and then I go back in with Potter's Clay in with it. And I just keep going and keep adding different colors until I get the look that I like. Adding more and more layers, it gives it more dimension, creating shadows and lighter areas. So it looks more like feathers. And then I go back in and I'm going to color his beak with the cantaloupe again. Now using some rhubarb stock for his, I don't know what that wattle thing that the turkey has. <laughs> And I'm just going in and adding some more extra color over his body, just kind of dotting it, make it look more like feathers. And I fussy cut that out, and now I'm taking onto a white cardstock. I took a Spellbinder's die, oval circle, and I just cut the upper half of it. I put it on the edge of the plate, cutting plate, and cut that part out so it will be like his feathers behind him. And now taking the memento marker with tuxedo black, my drawing make it look more like feathers. And then I'm going to color in the feathers with the rhubarb stock and potter's clay. Then highlighting it again with the those two colors. And then the ends of the feathers, when I'm done, I'll be doing the rich cocoa. And then just continue to keep going over it with the ink potion number nine. It just helps blend it, give it more definition throughout the leaves. I mean, not leaves, feathers. <laughs> Go. Blending those in just a little bit more. Let's see what it'll look like behind the turkey. And now I'm taking some Versamark Dazzle in Champagne. It darkens up the ink and it also gives it a shimmer look. And now this part where I'm going to use to make the, the shaker stamping a sentiment and I'm going to use the copper embossing powder and I stamped it with just the original Versa mark. Heat set the embossing powder. Now the outside piece I rounded off the corners and I cut off the bottom part added some acetate behind there and glue the feathers down onto the card base. And then on the white cardstock where I stamped the sentiment, I added some foam backing. Taking some delicata in celestial copper and a jumbo dauber, just adding some color onto the outside of it. Filling in the bottom half of the oval circle, doing two layers of some foam tape. 
adding some sequences. Usually I would put the sequences inside the, the clear acetate part, but I couldn't line it up to the feathers that I had glued onto the card. Now I'm gonna adhere the front down, line it over the feathers, and then I'm gonna adhere my turkey to the front of the acetate, and I was done. You can shake the card and he has fun little sequences in his tail. Thanks for watching. Visit imaginecrafts.com for more inspiration.